One of the uh, the things, when we first started having big data discussions here on This Week in Enterprise Tech, there was always a little bit of fuzziness about what exactly it meant, you know, what qualified as, as big data. And there are a couple of things that we know. It, we're talking about disparate data sources that normally wouldn't be put together. That's one of the, the qualifying Correct. things of big data. And also, obviously, you had to have a lot of it. It had to be really big, way larger than traditional data sources. But a lot of the products, many of the products that we've dealt with that do da big data analysis have taken pre-existing data sources. So you have a database on voter registration. You have a database on preference for food. You have a database on uh, you know telecommunications activities for a particular user group. You would bring them together and you would have a tool like Hadoop that could turn that into some sort of useful, useful correlative, a correlative analysis. There is another aspect. And DataTorrent is actually one of the only companies I know of that plays really well in this area of doing live streaming, live data acquisition. In other words, instead of just taking pre-existing databases, you specialize in, as you said, taking data from, say, the Internet of Things, such disparate data from so many different devices in real time and then putting it into an analytical tool. What's the unique challenge of doing that versus you using pre-existing data? So there's actually a couple of unique challenges. And, you know, I know you mentioned Hadoop and, you know, we should, um, you know, start with the fact that DataTorrent um, and our open source technology, which we're built upon, which is called Apache Apex, um, is built on top of Hadoop. So there is a, a technology in Hadoop 2 called YARN. And YARN stands for yet another resource negotiator. And what Yarn does is it makes Hadoop more like an operating system. So the Hadoop you probably looked at or discussed was really more around MapReduce, which is a way to batch process files. And typically, it's those static files, those big databases. What uh, Apache Apex does is it plugs into Yarn, and it lets you look at not only those static files, but also data as it's coming fresh off the wire as it's being created. And more and more organizations are moving to that route. And so when you start to look at the challenges, um, one challenge is you have many different types of data sources. So when you start to look at streaming data, you may want to correlate, um, for example, data coming off of a car. You may want to pull in data from the weather service. You may want to pull in historical data on that car's performance in the rain. And you want to pull all this information together into a single stream, into a single area, so that you can analyze it. And you want to do it in real time. And so the first one is, how do you handle multiple sources coming in at large scale? The second one is, how do you actually drive this data to be analyzed in real time? And that's done through a technique called parallelization, where we'll take the data and we'll split it up into smaller pieces and we'll run it across many, many, many machines. And because this data is typically operational data, meaning you're making decisions on the data, it needs to be reliable and it needs to be fault tolerant. So a lot of batch data processing, the end result um, is a, uh, a chart or uh, another database. And so if it doesn't work, you can always rerun it. With streaming data, you can't rerun it. Uh, I mean, you can rerun it, but you, you can't let it go down. And so we like to use this term called SHARPS, which stands for you want to be scalable, highly available, reliable, performing, and secure. 